Hi guys, here is Sabrina. Welcome back to one of my classes. Since uh, Thanksgiving is coming, I want to teach you how to create a leaf uh, cookie cutter. So you can actually uh, 3D print your cookie cutter and use it to uh, cook your cookies and then eat them. Open up Fusion 360 so we can start this class together. So let's get started. Step one. First, import the image in Autodesk Fusion 360 to use it as a guideline to draw the leaf. Select Insert in the top menu and choose Attach the Canvas. Select the top plane, which is the plane where we are going to import the image, and then choose the image from your desktop. Rotate the image in case you need using the setting box. Notice that now a new folder has appeared on the left menu, and it contains our image. Right-click on it to open the secondary menu and select Calibrate to resize the image. Select the bottom corners and type 70 mm, which is almost 3 inches and it's a good size for cookies. Step 2. Create a new sketch on the top plane and using the spline tool, draw the profile of the leaf. Don't worry if it's not super precise, in case you need, you can fix the shape afterwards using the points and the handles of the spline. Once created the shape of the lift, select the Offset tool in the Sketch section of the top menu and create a 1mm offset of the lift profile. In case you need, you can create the offset outwards, adding a minus before the value. In this way, we are creating a thin closed space in between the two sketches. Extrude this space using the Extrude tool in the Create section of the top menu. Drag the arrow to change the height of the extrusion or type the value you want. For this project, 10 mm is a good dimension. Step 3. To add more details, we create a new sketch on the top surface of the first extrusion. Keep in mind that you can use every flat surface as a plane to draw new sketches and apply new functions. Use the spline tool to draw some of the veins of the leaf. I'm making mine more or less the same thickness of the offset we did before, which is a good dimension to be sharp enough but not too thin to be fragile. Once again, you don't need to be extremely precise. In this phase, you can have fun and be creative. Select then the Extrude tool and extrude all the shapes you designed. Make sure they are all connected with the body of the cookie cutter, at least in one point. Set the distance of the extrusion at negative 7 mm, which is deep enough to stamp on the duff, but not too much to cut it. Step 4. To make the cookie cutter and its elements stronger, we add some supports on the top. Create a new sketch on the top surface and draw a couple of the rectangles that go through the shape and connect the decorations with the outline. Using the spline tool now, we draw on the outline, a line that connects the top sides of the rectangle with the bottom one. We are doing this because we will cut away all the parts outside the outline's shape. Do the same also with the other rectangle and then use the trim tool to clean the sketch from all the external lines we don't need. Select the extrude tool again and extrude the shape we draw of 2 mm. In this way, we are making the structure of the cookie cutter stronger. Step 5. We save our project in Autodesk Fusion 360 Cloud. Right-click then on the new name that appears at the top of the left menu and select Save as STL to export the file for 3D printing. Now that you have your cookie cutter, you only have to 3D print it with your 3D printer if you have one. And if you don't, you can upload your file on kirakira.com and ask us to 3D print it for you. Don't forget to share your creations with the community. Thanks for watching my class, guys, and happy Thanksgiving to everybody.